Hi, I'm Hope. And I'm Sharon. And we've been friends for 16 years. Over those 16 years, we've realized a few of our favorite things. Effing laughing. Effing cocktails. And, and just effing cook. cooking. Welcome back. We're here and we're going to take you on a trip to Jamaica with us. One of our favorite vacation destinations. Amen, sister. We are going <laughs> meat pies, jerk chicken, dirty bananas, and we're going to tell you a few things you never knew about Jamaica, Absolutely. according to Sharon and Hope. <laughs> and we're going to start with the meat pies. Um, they are pretty much eaten every day, all day by everybody. As basically, far as I'm basically. and if they're not, they should be. You can get a meat pie on every corner. Every corner. It's so, so easy. What you're going to do is, first of all, you're going to take two cups of flour. This is making the pastry. You're going to take two cups of flour. And Sharon, why don't you tell them a little fun facts about Jamaica while I'm doing that? Oh, where do you want me to start? Oh, I don't know. How come they don't have any snakes? Well, the mongoose came in to uh, eat the rats in the sugarcane <laughs> fields, and they ended up eating all the snakes. So if you're afraid of snakes, you really don't have to worry about it. No, you just go no. straight to Jamaica. It's a little more fun than Ireland, and the weather's a lot better. Absolutely. <laughs> so, anywho, what you're going to do is first you're going to take the bottom off your sifter, or else it doesn't what work as well. What did you put in with the flour? I put in two teaspoons of curry. And is that Jamaican curry? It is, but if you can't find Jamaican curry, you can just use regular okay. curry. And a teaspoon and a quarter of salt. And you sift it all in here. It's a really good workout for your wrist. <laughs> in case you need a workout for your wrist. I don't know why you would, but anyway. Hurry, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. So Hope and I went on vacation together in Jamaica about a year ago. Oh All my gosh. <laughs> All Inclusive has a new like disclaimer yeah, for Sharon and I. They lost a little money off of us. But anyways, <laughs> I think we ate meat pies, jerk chicken, and dirty bananas all day, every day. And it was amazing. For seven days. <laughs> and gained 15 pounds, but it was worth it. Um, anyway, so once you have this all sifted into the bowl, mm -hmm. what you're going to do is you're going to take your cold half a stick of butter. It has to be cold, right? It has to be cold, otherwise it won't, it won't mix well with the rest of the, um, the flour and everything. So you're just going to slice that in, boop, 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 oh, just that. like that. Is that salted butter or unsalted butter? Um, this is salted butter, but I don't think it matters because okay. I added salt. Okay. This is, this is shortening, but if you're in Jamaica, they would call it lard or suet. Suet, <laughs> suet is what my Basically, parents it's feed their fat. birds. <laughs> it's fat. It's just a little healthy dose of fat. There you go. This is what comes out when you get liposuction. <laughs> <laughs> I think it must look something like this. Absolutely. So anyway, you're gonna put it in there, okay. throw it in the bowl, and you're gonna take if. If you're a baker, you're going to have a pastry cutter, but I don't, so I'm using my mashed potato. <laughs> it works just as it well. It works just as well. And could you get me a third of a cup of water, Sharon? Sure. Pretty please. And so you're going to kind of mash this all up, put some muscle in it. Mash it like you mean it. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and wait until it gets all kinds of crumbly. Can I pour it in? Not yet. No. You just simmer down. All right, so, so be crumbly, and you want to get it out, out of there. You're going to get dirty doing this, but it's okay. That's you what. Get dough fingers. Dough finger. Um, so mm. that, yeah, it's kind of gross, but anyway. So you're going to get it crumbly, so it looks kind of like this. And then you're going to pour the water in, and you're going to want to take your ring off. Oh, good idea. Yep. Pour the water in. Thank you. All at the same time? Just go for it. And then dig in. And you're gonna mix it all up. I'm so glad you're doing this part. <laughs> I, know. I might need a little bit more water. Because okay. you gotta have a pretty stiff kind of dough going here, but you don't want it too much. Just a little bit. Go for it. More. Open that all Just in there. No. Dump it. Sharon. Sure. That's too much. Don't argue. Fine. Thank you. Love you, Sharon. Okay. Love you more. Okay. Okay. This is what we call dough fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're gonna do now is form it into a big ball. 
and it's not forming into a ball. I need, need more, more water. Yep. Okay. A little point. bit more water. Okay. Okay. There. Then after that's formed, you're going to wrap that and put it in the refrigerator? Yes, I am. So if you'd get me the saran wrap, okay. I will make a big dough ball. It's really kind of fun. Reminds me of when I was a kid with my Play-Doh that you're not supposed to eat, apparently. Whatever. I don't know. So what you're going to do with your dough ball once you get it all balled up and wrapped up is you're going to put it in the refrigerator for an hour and a half. You can keep it in there overnight. You can keep it in there for an hour and a half, but you want to get it cooled. And then you're going to take it out probably an hour before you use it just so that it kind of, you know, does gets it need to be at room temperature before you roll it out? Yeah, if it's too cold, it's not going to work very well. So you're going to you're going to want to keep it at room temperature. But okay. That's pretty. I know. The curry gives it that beautiful golden color. That's what makes it a meat pie. That's what makes it a meat pie. So here you go. Wrap her up. And that's how you make the pastry. And we'll be back in a little bit to show you how to make the filling. Hey, welcome back. And guess what? We've made the dough and now we got to make the meat because there filling. is no meat pie, meat patty without, <laughs> without the filling. meat and the filling, filling right. meat, whatever. Okay. Let's start with first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a little oil in the bottom of this pan okay. and turn this heat on okay. just like this. You want to get your... Is that just ground beef you're going to use? Yes. I put lean ground beef, but you can pretty much use whatever you want to choose. Goat. But you could use goat. If you were in Jamaica, you'd you, be you using... You might be getting goat. You might be getting goat. Pie. It tastes awesome regardless. Don't worry about it. Um, all right. So what you're going to do is get your oil a little heated up. And you're going to dump in your one large, finely chopped onion. And you dump it right in there. What you're going to do is going to put these in here for about four minutes until they get kind of, um, translucent. you know, translucent, softened up a little bit. Okay. Once they get a little bit further along, then we're going to put in six cloves of fresh garlic and um, I'd say probably three teaspoons of fresh shaved ginger. Okay. We're going to throw that in there. And that's that. Mm. Now, Let's turn when away. Sharon and I went to Jamaica, um, She's been like 10 times. This was my first. It's literally my favorite place to go. It was my first. Yeah. I, was a, I was a Jamaican she was virgin. A and yeah, talk about an all inclusive. <laughs> Whoa, my God. They really, really, really should not put me in an all inclusive <laughs> anything. <laughs> we cleaned them out of everything in like the first three days. Oh, but it was amazing. Surprised they had a banana left on that island. <laughs> but. Anyway, did you know that Jamaica is the third largest of all the Caribbean islands? Just so you know. Really? It's 145 miles wide at its widest point. Wow. Who knew? Now you do. Wow. Yep. Okay. And did you also know that um, the only place that produces allspice is Jamaica. Jamaica? And it's actually pimento, not to be confused with the red sweet pimento that you stick in an olive. It's actual pimento spelled differently and that's what they make all that's allspice right yeah. they and do a they lot of cooking with pimento too they'll cook their jerk chicken they'll cook it over pimento wood they add pimento leaves when they boil things and this is ginger and we're putting it in okay okay mm. Mm. you really 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 should use fresh ginger and shave it rather than using like ground ginger from the store because it's just not going to be yeah. good and then this is six cloves of fresh minced garlic with your garlic a, press? A, yes, with my brand new garlic press. And you could, you know, get the cheater stuff in the jar, but don't. Don't. Not if you want it to be good. So you're going to let these flavors all simmer together a little bit okay. for about a minute. Okay, now we're going to put the meat in. Okay. Now in goes the meat. And you can make a vegetarian version of this as well. Yeah, you can use turkey if you want. That's not vegetarian. Well, I mean, okay, not vegetarian. <laughs> Whatever. You know what I mean. Anywho, um, put the meat in, kind of okay. mush it in there with all its little friends. Okay, that smells awesome. Yes, it's gonna smell so much more awesome in a minute. Mm -hmm. Ooh. So what's going on with you lately? Oh. Any, any new dates we can uh, share, share with our audience today? <laughs> <laughs> 
Why are you always going to be talking about my I'm life? I'm through hope in our online dating. Oh, it's an entourage of crap. But anyway, <laughs> um, it's never a dull moment. Right now I have a stage five clinger going on. We can't seem to get rid of this guy. No. We're trying. I'm trying. <laughs> have an answer to text. Don't let me call him. No. I could get rid of him for you. No, oh, God, I know you could. So you're going to put in your fresh time. Mm. Mm. And your ground turmeric. Pretty beautiful yellow color. Mm. Yummy. Thank you for your assist, Sharon. Oh, no problem. Curry. Preferably Jamaican, Jamaican curry, but it doesn't have to mm. be. Blah, blah. And your cumin. 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 And it is pronounced cumin. <laughs> <laughs> and your allspice. Do, do, do. And a little thing we love to call cayenne. Mm. I know. It's good stuff. And your chopped scallions. Okay. It's pretty green. When do we put the, the dangerous peppers in? I'll let you know. So this so you're is... gonna cook this up until the meat browns, which is usually about 20 minutes, but I'm gonna try to make it rush because me and this meat are close. Yes. And I'm thinking that, you know, it'll work for me. But... When can we put in the hot peppers? Oh. Uh, why don't you tell them a little bit about that pepper? Well, this is actually a habanero pepper. Um, the Jamaicans use the scotch bonnet. It's the cousin of the habanero. Um, the habanero is not as hot, um, but it's, it's still deadly, seriously. Their be scotch careful. bonnets be are very hard you, to find. When you, when you dice them up really, you should wear gloves, um, or at least just remember to wash your hands. Mm -hmm. I accidentally ate a habanero pepper at a dinner party once. I thought it was a garnish on the plate. I thought it was just a regular red bell pepper. I put the whole thing in my mouth started sweating, coughing, my lips swelled up so big, I couldn't She talk. crapped her pants. <laughs> that wasn't with the habanero. Oh, that's right. That was different. <laughs> that was another time. <laughs> and we'll get to that on the show at another point. Yeah. Oh, this is looking delicious. Okay, now it's almost brown, but because Come we're going to... No. Why do you want to touch those so much? So you're gonna put in I'm afraid you're your, gonna hurt yourself. your one pound of chopped tomatoes, and you they're those. peeled. That's you have to peel them. To peel the potato. I mean, peel the potato. Because <laughs> you don't want to get tomato. tomato peels. You don't want the skin um, in, want, your, in your patty. You don't want peels in your patty. No. Okay, now you can put the peppers in. You yeah. have to be careful even when they're cooking the fumes. You can burn your eyes. I mean, it's very dangerous yeah. work here. It is. We should be wearing goggles. <laughs> I know. That's a great idea. Okay. And now you have that in. You're going to add your beef stock. -da -da. And your salt and your pepper. How much salt and pepper? Um, usually you do it to taste, but I put about a teaspoon and a half of each. Okay. And you mix it all up there. Delicious. Okay. And you're going to let this simmer for about 25 minutes. Do you need to cover it? Um, yes. And I happen to have a cover right over yonder. Okay. Okay. So here we go. All right. Let's Turn get that down. lid on that. And get while this is simmering, we're going to take a quick break and we'll come back and put these patties together. Peace out. Here we are back again with our meat patty uh, extravaganza. So we have got the meat simmering now for 25 minutes. And what I'm going to do is take that off the heat, put it over here on the side of the stove and let it cool. Yeah, it's going to okay. cool down a little bit while I roll out these patties. All right. Now, what you're going to do, you take your ball of beautiful dough out of the fridge, and you're going to squish it just a little bit, put a little bit of flour on it, and... How many know, patties will that make? About eight to ten, depending on... Size. On size. Okay. And see, you can make these as little or as big as you want, but if you want little hors d'oeuvres for like a party, like little meat you patty like nuggets... Mini, almost like an um, Asian... Yeah, um, like a... Um, dumpling. dumpling. And yeah. ironically enough, you can yeah. use your Asian dumpling press to make <laughs> little meat patties. We found that out. Well, I found that out a little while ago. See, so roll it out. Nice. That's pretty. Isn't it? It's gorgeous. Yeah, it really is. I know. Golden yellow. I always wonder how they made him that beautiful yellow color. Curry, my dear. I thought it was the egg that you put on top. Well, that helps in the end, but you got okay. to put the curry in. Now, I don't know where you find a cookie cutter this big. <laughs> <laughs> so, I like
like to ad lib a little bit? We searched and searched and searched yesterday. The coffee can wasn't big enough, so <laughs> you're using a bowl. Okay, here we go. Let me Put it here. down. <clears throat> Give it a little shove. Try to get it off oh, there. Perfect. Oh. Patty number one. <laughs> Can I put the meat in it? Of course. Okay. And here comes patty okay. number two. Beautiful. Awesome. Anyway, um, Sharon was asking earlier about my, my online dating. And it's tragic. really... Tragic. It's actually... <laughs> <laughs> it is tragic. But I feel really good about the fact that my friends honestly live vicariously through my online wow. dating. It makes them laugh, and if I can make them laugh, that's hey, fine with that's me. That's what's important. I might actually end up with a dinner once in a while, who knows, but most of the time I just end up with dorks. <laughs> <laughs> I got a midget once. Can you believe that? A midget. Said he was 5'8". <laughs> I'm 5'5". Five five. That dude jumped off his bar stool, and when he landed, he was right here. Right here. That is not five How eight. How long did you stay? Did you get an argument? Or oh, yeah, you I got called it. him out on it, right? Well, I called, well, I called him out on that immediately. But <laughs> five eight? What? What? That is not five oh. eight. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and he wasn't wearing any shoes. Don't you think if you were that short, you'd be wearing like platforms, platforms or platforms. something? He took his They're shoes off. They're coming back. They're coming back. He took his shoes off. <laughs> he took his shoes off. Oh, my God. Dork. Anyway, that date lasted forty minutes. <clears throat> he had to go. Catch and release. Love, hope. <laughs> Welcome to my life online. <laughs> All right, so these are right. actually giant patties. So we're just going to make four at this okay. point. And, um, you know, we, maybe we could share, you think? Pose. I'll, I'll share a patty with you. <laughs> All right. So All right. what we do now is Sharon wants to fill the patty. So hold it in your hand and put like a, you know. Hold the patty in my hand? Yes. What do you think you're going to hold in the hand? The meat? Oh, I thought I would just take it over there. Yeah. Okay, about this much? Mm, yeah, a little bit less than that because you gotta fold it over. Okay. okay. Now fold it over. It smells so good. I know. Fold it over. I think I made a too big of a. Pack I think you're there. a little overzealous nope, with perfect. your filling. Look at that. Now perfect. fork down the edges. You did put too much in there. I did not. You never have too much meat. I mean, so what if it runs perfect. out the sides? Perfect. Don't tell anybody I said that. And then I'm just crimping it. Yeah, that's. That's some crappy crimping you got going on there. It looks beautiful. <laughs> Let's get these on the tray. Pop them in the oven. Hold on. Be back in a few minutes. We're going to make some jerk chicken. That's right, girl. Jerk that chicken. Welcome back. And we have made some meat pies, and they are in the oven. They're going to be ready in a little bit. But right now, Sharon's going to show you how to make the other staple of Jamaican, Jamaican. Is our jerk chicken. Jerk chicken. Oh my gosh. So. I don't know how they came up with that name, but it's pretty darn I don't good. Know how they did come up with that name. I don't but know. I will tell you, I have been trying to perfect this recipe. I've been trying to perfect this recipe for years. Um, I've bought different marinades in the store, and nothing really compares to the homemade. And it's so easy. So all you need is your blender, and we have many ingredients, though. So we're going to start with a half a cup of chopped onion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Quarter cup of um, green onions. Or scallions. Whatever you want to call it. Allspice. A lot a of lot allspice. allspice. And that you can do to taste. I do three tablespoons, um, but because I think that's what really makes it. We're gonna add a teaspoon of salt. It smells so good. Half you teaspoon believe of it. thyme. Everybody needs a little more time. Everyone needs a little more time. We've got our pepper, teaspoon of pepper. Oh my gosh. Two teaspoons of garlic. That stuff okay. sticks with you, but don't, you know, don't leave it out. I do add a teaspoon of brown sugar, and that really does help with the heat factor. So again, you can adjust that to, to your palate. And we're at a teaspoon of cinnamon. Half teaspoon of nutmeg. Here comes the hot peppers. Just... These are again habaneros. Um, the Scotch bonnet, as we talked about, is the Jamaican pepper, um, which is it's really hard, to, hard find. to find. But <laughs> we go with the habanero. Anyways, just be <clears throat> careful with that. Now we're gonna add a quarter cup of molasses. Oh, mm. love me some molasses. She said she used to eat this on biscuits when she was little. I've never done. I was a little never kid. Never heard of that. Um, and a quarter cup of vinegar. Mm -hmm. I'm not licking that bowl, but I'll stick with this one. Um, no, when I was little, 
my parents, when they would make biscuits and everything, their leftovers in the morning, they would cut them in half and squish them and then put them in the toaster. And you take them out and you dip them in molasses and eat them. Oh my oh, God. Sounds delicious. We had to stop. Okay. We had to stop. It grew out of my okay. granimals. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now we're going to mix all our ingredients in the blender. I should probably stop eating this tonight. <laughs> Just let it go for... There's nothing like the sound of a blender. <laughs> Not even a minute. Just kind of... There we go. So I have everything mixed up. Oh my gosh. And then you smell it. Oh, this smells so good. <sighs> okay, now for marinating. I Can would you swim please in give that. me two plastic bags? <laughs> yes, I would love to. I'm paranoid about raw chicken, so I use tongs. Um, so I'm not paranoid about anything, so I'd probably bite that right now. <laughs> Nasty. Okay, so we're gonna put our Disgusting. chicken in uh, some freezer bags, just like this. Very good. I might get all this in one bag, actually. You think? I think I can. Okay. I, I choose one whole cut up chicken. You can use if you prefer the, you know, drumsticks, thighs. You're not gonna get whatever. all that in one bag. I need another bag. Okay. All right. Put that bit there in there. Okay. Teamwork. Now. Pour a marinade in here. Oh, look at it. The smell. Smell it. The smell, smell is it. amazing. That's probably good for that one. Yeah. All right. Now, after you get your chicken in the bag, you're going to rub it around, massage it, really work it, work it. Mm, Who prefers to jerk, jerk it? it around. <laughs> I prefer to jerk it. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the refrigerator. You can marinate it um, at a minimum of two hours. Uh, I prefer to leave it in overnight, but that's the longer you leave it in, the hotter it's going to be. And what we're going to do once we um, take that out is we are going to put it on 375 for 45 minutes and bake that. And when we come back, we're going to show you how to make the rice that we're going to serve that over. And it is delicious, and we call it Rasta rice. <laughs> so we'll see you in just a few. Now we're going to make some Rasta rice to go along with our jerk chicken. Rasta rice. We named it ourselves. <laughs> we didn't actually, when we were in Jamaica, we really didn't have our jerk chicken over rice because we were gluttons and we ate our jerk chicken with french, french fries. fries. But we're trying to be a little bit healthier yeah, a little here. Healthier, so. And I don't have a deep fryer, so we're not doing fries. Let me start out here. Go. A little olive oil in our pan. Mm -hmm. And I've got some beautiful peppers cut up, all the Jamaican colors. Bob Marley Look, color. it matches my shirt. Bob Marley color. <laughs> Just gonna saute these up for a few minutes. Oh. Now I have my rice in a steamer um, that I said earlier. You can cook your rice according to the package direction if you like to do it on the stove with water or the rice steamer. That's really the easiest um, little uh, appliance I think that we picked up. I'm just going to let these peppers hang out for a few minutes. It's going. Yeah. I'm going to add a little chicken bouillon. That's going to give it, give it a little flavor when we add the rice to it. I've never seen chicken bouillon like powdered like that. I always thought it came in, it? in a like cube. Been? Jamaica. <laughs> Jamaica <mom. laughs> That's right. Jamaica I never saw mom. chicken bouillon like that in Jamaica. Okay. It comes in a cube. <laughs> All right, so we're going to let these sit out for a few minutes, keep sauteing, and we're going to add our rice. <laughs> At the very end, we're going to add some pineapple. Now, this is my little trick to the rice, is going because our chicken is going to be so hot. Smoking hot. That we need the sweetness to kind of counteract that habanero. So good, so good. Can't and we're fish. Gonna come back, and we're going to add our, pine our pineapple and our rice, and then Hope is going to introduce you to the dirty banana. It's pretty much how we started every day and ended every day and filled right. in from the beginning to the end of every day. So when we come back, <laughs> see you then. Hey, we're back from break and guess what? Look what the cat dragged in. Our friends stopped in and uh, they're notorious for that. Soon they as, knew we were cooking. Soon they as knew we'd been. They said, there's some effing soon, cooking there's going some, on down there. We're going to stop by. They're effing so. cooking. We're effing stopping in. <laughs> so what we're going to do First now. First and foremost. We need to make the beverage to go with this delicious meal that we've prepared. Now, if we were mm -hmm. in Jamaica and it was 9.30, mm -hmm. we'd be having it for breakfast, but Probably. we're not. We're breakfast not, to champions. We're not allowed to do that here. So it's really easy. I'm going to show you what you do. 
you are gonna take two ounces of rum-based coffee liqueur. Ooh, is that hard to find? Not at all, okay, not at all. And you're gonna take two ounces of rum cream. Mm, Yum. Yummy, good for Ooh. you, actually. Yeah. Two ounces of Jamaican rum. Oh. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Oh God. Four ounces of half and half cream. Now in Jamaica, do they use, they used heavy cream. They use goat's milk. Oh, right. Which right. is like heavy cream. Very thick, very yeah, heavy. We don't know where to buy it. But that. we don't have a goat, so we're just <laughs> <laughs> The pugs don't produce any milk. And, and one ounce of simple syrup, which is basically sugar half and sugar and half water, and you simmer it until the sugar dissolves, or you can just or buy it at the liquor store. store. It's oh, right. just much easier. That's pretty much what I did. So, okay. And there's that. And then you're gonna oh. take one banana. And this is healthy. You wanna get um, a banana that's, you know, it's kind of ripe. a little past ripe, because you like it when they're just a little squishier and it's sweeter. It's like a banana bread banana. Right. Okay. You know, the kind like your mom always put in the refrigerator for like a year and a half and they're like jet black and there's never been any bread made with them ever. And you're going to throw that in there. Boop. And one cup of ice. Oh. Good. Okay. Okay. Top on. Breakfast is almost ready. Okay. On and <laughs> okay, anyway, okay. see, it's that fast. Come on. Hold on, I'm trying to get the top off. All right. Okay. Oh. oh, it's delicious. Sharon, if you would deliver these to our lovely I guests. I would be happy to. Let me another one. Okay, okay, working on it. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. righty. Delicious, delicious. And, I can't wait to take a uh, and there's so <laughs> much potassium in here. It's healthy. I have to it really say, it's good for healthy. you. It is good for you. So we're gonna go sit down and enjoy our meal. So again, what we have here um, in the middle, this is the island rice, uh, rasta rice. Rasta um, rice. It has the different colored peppers and the pineapple in it to help take away some of the heat of the jerk chicken. Right. Which had been marinating. And it gives it a really beautiful color. And then we have the meat patties. Meat yeah. patties, which have a, a meat uh, ground beef filling with several different spices, right. and it's wrapped All these recipes nice can be found on our website. Right. So we're going to dig in. We're going to dig in. Ladies, wow. here's to just effing cooking. cooking.